Hey friends, this is I think the first video in a while where I so I just got myself a new stand. Say hi to my cat. This is little. Um, it's the first video in a long while where see I have both my hands free now, right? And uh, I usually make videos holding my phone. I used to do videos in, with my laptop, and that allowed me to have my hands free. But you know, trial and error, phones are easier. Anyway, what I want to talk about: uh, maker schedules versus manager schedules. I do think that a lot of my audience on Twitter is has ADHD or is ADHD adjacent, and uh, when I talk about conflating my manager self with my maker self, a lot of people relate. Can I go? See you. Ah, um, maker self and manager self. Right. So I have when I was working on my book for almost three years, I was working on my book, and like the blah, the past year and a half to two years, I guess, the book was the main thing on my mind. It was the main thing that I'm working on. I have nothing else to worry about except finishing and shipping the book. You know, I would make videos from time to time, but I wasn't like... It's just it's a clarifying effect of having like one main major project that you're working on such that everything else is secondary. And I kind of overdid that, I think, to the point where it was affecting my personal life, it was affecting my marriage even. You know, God bless my wife for tolerating me being like no no sorry i gotta work on my book like what the fuck you know like when i when i reflect on that i'm like that's me behaving in a very scarcity minded way like i didn't trust myself to be capable of doing multiple things and i felt like if i tried to do anything that wasn't my book i would be spiraling out of of control spiraling out of focus and just it's just this very anxious, paranoid sense of I have to be working on my book all the time and nothing else can can matter. And it's funny because within the book itself, I talk about how, you know, in my experience, I can only really be productive for like four hours a day. And even that's pushing it. Like really, really productive, like two very good hours. If I get two very good hours, and sometimes even like 30 very good minutes, right? If I get 30 very good minutes, that can carry me the whole day in a sense like and when i look at my history there are weeks and weeks where i don't have a single set single 30 minute session of really clear focused work right so 30 minutes of very clear focused work can be more productive than hours and hours of grinding right and yet i keep falling into the same pattern of grinding for hours and when i say grinding i'm just sitting in front of my computer scrolling through my shit and what am I working on? Nothing specific. I'm just touching my stuff and looking at it. And you know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to dismiss that. You know, I don't want to make it seem like that's bad. I, I do think that there's like this digital gardener. You know, digital or not. Like, let's say you're talking about someone who is working on a book in a in a study, right? And they don't have the internet, but they have their notes, their notebooks, papers, other books, reference material. It's all just lying around. And sometimes you just want to go in and just look at all the things, you know, and just make sure, just keep the state updated in your head. And maybe that's ideal. Maybe that's like close to optimal, you know. But having said that, I don't think so. I don't think that's true for me. And I have sometimes lamented or, or wished, wouldn't it be nice if I had a manager that I could trust? that I respected and admired, who understood what I'm working on and could just tell me, Visa, shut the fuck up, work on this right now, ignore everything else. And you know, when you're done in half an hour or whatever, quit and then go on with your day. Go spend, go watch a movie with your wife, you know, go play with your cats, whatever, you know, just someone to tell me that. Because, and the thing is, you know, uh, because without that, I just get scatterbrained and I just kind of try to do a little bit of everything all at once and it doesn't work. And it's like the worst of all worlds, right? Uh, yeah, so I guess this video is... Um, now, now that my book is done, right? I am re-immersed into the chaos of all of my varying works. And that's not even talking about like my life outside my work. So it's like my personal life, my personal... Um, you know, I want to play guitar and I haven't bought a guitar in a while. So there's all this random shit that I want to do. And there's all these obligations that I have to my friends and family. And it's just so clear to me right now that my effectiveness is bottlenecked by 
sloppy decision making. You know, it's like uh, the the boundaries. My boundaries are a little bit shaky. My my like around, the boundaries around my time, my choice of what I'm doing at any one given point in time. And you know, I have blog posts about this dating back like ten years. You know, I have I have a post on uh, on my one thousand word vomits where I say embrace monotasking, do one thing at a time, and. Even that, I think so. To do one thing at a time, you have to. I have to believe that the one thing that I'm doing is pretty much. It doesn't necessarily need to be the most important thing that I should be working on, but it should be somewhere along those lines, right? And I'm just rediscovering this process of kind of triaging and sorting, algorithming my tasks, designing and planning my tasks. It's all this managerial shit, <laughs> and yeah, I you know this video is going on a bit rambly. I, I just I I want to become a better manager of myself. I think this is gonna be a theme of my thirties, right? Like so, I did a lot of writing in my twenties. Uh, I'm good at all this kind of freestyle, free form, free roam approach to things. But like, if you want to do substantial shit, you're gonna have to plan, strategize. Project manage. That's another thing I've spoken about a few times. I'm not bad at it. I'm not like horrible at it, but I I think I can get better, and I guess I will just uh, I will make more videos about this, and I will write more about this, and I feel like um there is a yeah I'm putting together a doc a doc, and I'll just populate it with whatever is uh feels relevant or interesting and I'll link the doc in the description in the comments and you guys let me know what you think or if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts just a stake in the ground done